Banks, and uh, I'm an UMSA student, and today I will be demonstrating a uh, photo catheter on a patient today. Well, my patient is in a simulation, I'm sorry. And uh, first thing I want to explain to you, um, I have gathered my supplies. Um, of course, I have my patient that I'm going to do my uh, catheter insertion on. I have my uh, basil with a warm, uh, soapy water in the towel so I can clean the mitis. And um, I have uh, just some regular clean gloves. I have my sterile um, catheter kit. Uh, I have a towel for, uh, to cover the patient uh, for privacy. And then I have my hand sanitizer and tape to uh, secure the uh, catheter. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, clean my hands. Um, hello, um, my name is Camelia, and uh, I'm gonna insert a, uh, a catheter on you today. And first I wanna, what's your name? Joe Black. And what's your date of birth? 10, 10, 68. Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure if you ever had a, a catheter inserted on you before, but that's what I'm going to be doing on you today. Uh, I'm going to insert that in uh, your penis. And um, so you're going to feel a little pressure uh, burning, but that's normal. Uh, I'll try to go as easy as on you as possible. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? That's okay with you? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and uh, make sure my bed is raised to uh, waist level, uh, which simulation it is. <laughs> and um, I put my arm, uh, my railing down so I can reach my patient as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and my pa patient is pretty much positioned in a supine position. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uncover him. Uh, cover them, uncover them just enough to where uh, the area is exposed, but give him a little privacy as well. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean my hands again. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my, uh, my clean gloves because I'm going to uh, go ahead and clean the myitis before I insert the catheter. Just trying to cut back down on infection and bacteria and all of that. So over here I have my soap and warm water and my towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the towel out and approach my patient. Um, and just kind of talk to him while I'm cleaning so he won't feel so uncomfortable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean your uh, penis right now before I insert the catheter, okay? This water is kind of warm. Hopefully it's to your liking. Uh, I'm going to hold his penis. And then I'm going to clean the uh, myitis in a circular motion. They prefer three times. So that's one, two, three. Circling around it three times, okay? So I'll go ahead and expose this. I mean, dispose of this. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my sterile feel, okay? So I'll go ahead and get rid of these gloves. Dispose of those in the trash. And uh, get my towel out. Just pretty much anything you can use just to provide the patient with a little uh, privacy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean my hands again. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, open my sterile uh, catheter. Now um, it's good to have a bag just beside for trash, so we'll use that as trash today. And then I'll go ahead and uh, unwrap it. Uh, Down. Just kind of holding the edge so we can maintain our sterile feel. Okay, so then I'll take my uh, gloves out. 
put those to the side. Okay. And then I'll um, put this down and put it up under there. So just kind of still provide a little sterile feel. You know, so I want that eye down is kind of messy. And so uh, positioning my patient's legs a little spread open so I can reach everything, okay? And so I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna wash my hands again. And uh, I'm gonna open my gloves up. The thumbs out. Starting with my dominant hand. And holding the gloves so I don't contaminate the gloves. Get rid of that, and then I'll go ahead and set up everything. Sitting that there, sitting this here. Okay, so um, we got the iodine that's I'm gonna use that for cleaning. We got my lubrication. Um, to uh, lubricate the catheter tube and as it go into the penis. And then we have um, our solutions for the balloon to secure the catheter. Okay. And so I'll go ahead and put, get everything prepared, put my iodine on there, on my cotton balls, what I'm going to use to clean the myodis. Then I'll get rid of that. Okay. And, um, Put my uh, lube down, and then uh, I will go ahead and go ahead and take the go ahead and put the syringe on here, just so some of this will already be done. Now they say some people like to try the balloon first to make sure it works, but we're going to see it's working today. Okay. Okay. So we have this secure, and I'll go ahead and drop that back in there. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and um, grab hold to the penis with my uh, non-dominant hand. Ensuring to hold it at a 90 degree angle, but as you can see, this can't come up, uh, sorry, 90 degrees without pulling it off, okay? So, uh, we're going to simulate that it is at a 90 degree angle, and I'll go ahead and grab my um, prongs, and I'll grab one cotton ball, and as we said, we're going to use the same technique, uh, circular motions three times, start with the head of the meatus, and then this card, one time, two times, this card, three times, this card, okay, this is part of it, so now I'm ready for insertion, so we'll go ahead and uh, expose the tubing because I'm ready for that. And then as I stated, I went ahead and put my lubrication down. So um, that's already there. So um, they say, depending on how big the uh, urethra area is, depends on how far you got to stick the um, catheter tubing. So I think they said seven to nine inches. Uh, we're going to do seven today, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, geniusly loop the catheter up, okay? So I'm going to prepare my patient, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and insert this catheter. Like I stated before, you're going to have some burning. Um, you might feel a little uncomfortable, 
But um, I'll try to do this as easy and uh, make it more comfortable for you as possible. So if you would, um, you can uh, pretty much either have the patient burr down um, to make it go smoother, but I also looked at a video and they said wiggle your toes. That's, that causes you to burr down as well. So uh, either one, just as long as, you know, so go ahead and burr down or wiggle your toes, whichever you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert, insert it. Kind of wiggle it a little bit in there. And um, try not to uh, be too forceful, but kind of making it a smooth process. So I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And so with a, a man's penis, it's normally a little bit further than a woman's. So, I'm going to go, like I said, 79 inches until in, I see urine. So, we're going to say I see urine, so we're going to stop. And then I'm going to secure it with my non-dominant hand. And I'm going to go ahead and take this hand and uh, push the sterile saline in to... Uh, blow the, the balloon up in the inside so it can secure the catheter so it won't come out. Okay. So that's done. So then I will go ahead and um, pull it to see if it's secure and it is. Okay. So I'll go ahead and um, secure the catheter to the side and taking this off as well. Okay, okay. just going to that. And um, so I take, I mean, normally I would have it in a more closer area, but simulation here. So I'm going to go ahead and ensure that there's some slack for the patient. So if he move a little bit, he won't, um, won't cause him any pain or discomfort or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and secure it to his leg. Okay. And that's done. So I'll go ahead and pull the uh, urine bag out. Ensure that there's no kinks. Okay, so they said to um, always you want always want to hold this um, below the bladder bladder because gravity is is everything. So if you hold it kind of level up, you run a chance of the patient getting an uh, infection. So we, we don't want that. So I'm going to hang it on never on the rail either because the, uh, the rail moves back and forth. So I just hang it on the. Uh, the side of the bed and there's a place for it and okay. make sure it's secure and then uh, checking to make sure as the urine flows out I'm, I'm, I'm watching the color and I'm checking for the color the flow of the urine and um, how much urine there is and I'll be sure to document all of this I will document the color how much urine there is and um, sign in Date my name and uh, also I want to okay. put how much uh, sterile saline I put into the balloon because uh, courtesy to the nurses and to my patients.